Hello everyone, I am Katana, the Lightning Cat. Right. <clears throat> I know right now it's all popular and shit to bash every fucking company and everyone else for the slightest, tiniest thing and to blow it out of proportion because everyone's decided to move into uh, a court of opinion which is fucking moronic and retarded because no one's making any progress anywhere I already know that no one is going to bother paying attention when a company actually apologizes for their dumb shit. Interesting. wonder how many dislikes this video is going to get. <clears throat> so, I was talking to some guys. Well, just one actually. I was talking to a friend. And he told me that Bethesda went to Twitter and apologized and pretty much begged everyone to forgive them for the dumb shit that's been happening with Fallout 76. So I figured since no other YouTubers gonna make a video on that, I might as well and just break with their dumb shit trend of bashing the company because it's the fucking cool thing to do right now. Hold on, let me go ahead and shut my door. It's loud out there. Uh, move that back right there. There we go. And right now, YouTube is in a fucking terrible start to the new year. Letting companies run rampant and bully YouTubers who have uh, a negative opinion. Fuck it, op an opinion. Come on. Opinion doesn't reflect the actual fucking object itself. But the, hey, you know, YouTube started out last year with the fucking adpocalypse because of Logan Paul and his channel should have been deleted, but it's still there. It's just year after year, companies are doing stupid shit. And it's just, it's becoming a cycle. You start off doing dumb shit, you get negative feedback from everyone, then you go off and you bully everyone for that negative feedback, and you go right back around to doing dumb shit all over again. There's probably some more steps in this cycle, but it's getting worse and worse. It's just a downward spiral that's going out of fucking control. When does it all stop? I haven't looked at Twitter to see if Bethesda put out an apology. But hey. That's uh, an attempt at a step in the right direction, you know? And, uh, let's see. Some other game-related stuff. Red Dead Redemption 2 is being murdered by the toxic bitches running around shooting everyone just because they fucking can. It's not because of a lack of content. It's still in its beta stage. They've said that. One of my buddies I was playing it with, even though it's so fucking finely polished, you could look at yourself in it. <clears throat> it's still in beta, and it's still being added to. It's come pretty far in the past few months it's been out. Or, has it been a few months? It feels like it's been a couple of months. Wait, you shut up, you. Well want you interrupting my soliloquous nonsensical whimsy and everyone bitching about the game's lack of content in Red Dead Redemption 2 online that, that come on it, they're still working on it man
the real problem is the toxic little bitches who just don't need to have the fucking game to begin with. Kind of like every Call of Duty gamer every, ever. I know, I used to be one of the little fuckwits. That's the biggest reason why I got rid of all of my copies of Call of Duty. I'm not going to play it ever again. <clears throat> not any Call of Duty, ever. So, what is going to happen in Red Dead Redemption 2 Online is they, yes, they are going to add more content. They are going to add more stuff. You'll see. Just be fucking patient. Stop rushing the company. Microsoft takes all the fucking money from them and gives them literal fucking pennies out of every fucking purchase made, which is why the purchases are upwards of hundreds of fucking dollars each. So be patient. They're working. They're getting things done. There's been several updates, and because it doesn't say updates available on your console or your, or your freaking PC, doesn't mean that they haven't been working on it, because I've noticed. They used to give you... The game used to give you freaking pennies for bringing stuff in to merchants to sell. Now it actually gives you a good bit of money. That's changed. It's now completely workable as an economy. It's actually a fucking economy instead of a fucking cash grab, which is what it looked like. They're working on it. They really are. Now how do we deal with all these toxic fuckwits? Well, they're going to get a bad sport lobby eventually, just like in GTA 5. And you're going to get uh, friend-only sessions or something similar to that. But it's not going to happen overnight. It's not going to happen right now. It's going to be something you're going to have to fucking shut the fuck up and be patient about. Kind of like how I waited patiently and did other stuff while I was waiting for Subnautica to come out in the full release. And I looked at it, got an update... Saw there were still some things that needed to be fixed. And said, yeah, okay, I'm going to wait for a few more updates. Literally, in, the, in that video, I said I was going to wait for a few more updates. And then go back to it. And then stream record again. And see what all's different. Just why is it so fucking difficult to be patient? What's so fucking important in your life that you have to go off and kill other players in a game immediately and be a little bitch to the companies who have been bought out by Microsoft and are being given this much money to work with when Microsoft is taking this much off the top. And then you have to consider the company's bills. They have to get the electricity to power the computers so that they can do all this stuff. They have to pay the employees to work on those computers and do all this stuff. So when their budget is this, because Microsoft's a greedy bitch, everything slows the fuck down. But that's not what is killing Red Dead Redemption 2 online. What's killing it is the toxic scum who just run around killing you for no fucking reason. Like that Vita bitch stream sniping whore that I ran into. Funny story about that one is when I first ran into it, they actually sent my friend a message saying that they'd like to pay us to fucking do stupid shit. And they come back and start stream sniping after they had their friends on Xbox message me and entice me to do a stream just so that they could stream snipe. That's fucking toxic, bitch fucking pathetic. And that's that's the biggest reason. Actually that's the only reason why I haven't been playing it or even doing a recording on it. It's 
It's the toxic little bitches who I do not have the fucking time with and to to deal with, nor am I gonna make the fucking time to deal with these fucking pieces of shit. <clears throat> Now, YouTube, what the fuck is your goddamn problem? Do you hate your content creators? Is that what the fuck is going on here? The reason you're letting companies bully content creators like Angry Joe on the Angry Joe Show? Earlier, I watched a video. He had like a hundred videos claimed by fucking companies. And it takes two months, and you have to do them one at a time. And he went through and did the math, and it would take him over eight and a half years to get through all of those fucking things and get them done and taken away so that he could have the, the fucking pennies off the monetization because companies are just bully tacticking. Whatever, fuck words, fuck English. Companies are just bullying people on YouTube. And this is how 2019 has started. When 2018 started, with Logan Paul being a little bitch, starting the Adpocalypse number two. And before that, it was the Wall Street Journal being a little bitch, running a smear campaign on Pewds, running the first Adpocalypse. Seriously. YouTube. You're fucking dumbest bitches greediest motherfuckers letting companies walk all over us your fucking creators and you think that's gonna fucking last in the long term how fucking stupid are you YouTube people will fucking leave there are enough people who have degrees in HTML and C++ and all sorts of programming scripts. They will make another fucking platform and they will run it better than yours and you will lose everything you've got, YouTube. And while we're on the subject of companies being bitches, let's talk about what Egypt Pie did with the FCC repeal of net neutrality. It literally opened up a floodgate for people to be harassed by spam companies who are only interested in taking your fucking money. I've had to block 30 fucking different numbers because they keep calling and talking about it's an automated message talking about insurance for your car and I don't even fucking have a car. It's just phishing. The P-H-I-S-H-I-N-G. Phishing. They're just trying to get a nibble so that they can swindle you out of all your fucking money. That's what the FCC repeal of net neutrality has done. Those are the medium to long term effects. The harassment. The telemarketers are back. And they don't fucking stop. They just switch to making their number unknown name, unknown number, so you can't block them, and they continue to fucking harass you. It got so fucking bad, I had ten fucking calls in one day. From the same fucking company. Over and over, back-to-back -back fucking calls. After I pressed two... When it says in the automated system on their little switchboard, press 2 to be removed from our call list. Yeah, 10 fucking times in a row. And it didn't even fucking work. And everyone's attention span is uh, less than that of a gnat, so half the people aren't even going to remember this shit, and the other half are going to be like, huh? There's only going to be a very few, very few, who are going to actually know what the fuck I'm talking about. It wasn't just bad for gamers with net neutrality going away. It wasn't just tone deaf what a JitPi did. It was a 
fucking clusterfuck. A shitstorm of stupidity and moronicism at its absolute finest and most decadent level of bullshit. All these fucking problems because companies want to do dumb shit because they're thinking that negative press is fucking good, but it's not. It's a downward spiral. It's going down. It's all circling the fucking drain at this point. Eventually, all of you companies out there, you're going to burn everyone out. And when that happens, you're not going to have any fucking revenue. Not on YouTube. Not, a, not in fucking real life. No fucking revenue. Because all this bullshit just pisses people off. And then the parents are just taking it out on their kids. And their kids are going into the games and being toxic little fuckwits. And then that's driving everyone away from playing games. It's not just the, the EA loot box scams and bullshit anymore. And the... Oh, what was it after the loot box scams? It was the fucking gambling bullshit. Legitimate fucking gambling. In EA games. And I have not heard of any YouTuber playing another EA game since. That's been, what, two, maybe three years? <clears throat> so YouTube, Microsoft, what the fuck is your goddamn problem? You're doing the exact same thing. YouTube, you are mirroring mirroring what is happening in the gaming industry. You're just doing it with a different uh, a different set of uh, pronouns here. But you're doing the exact same process. You're getting all this negative press. You're getting people pissed off. You're letting bullies run rampant on your fucking platform. That is exactly what's happening in the video game industry. It's a downward spiral. Are you fucking idiots gonna wake up? <clears throat> but even so, Red Dead Redemption 2 Online is still doing well as far as what the company's doing. They're actually putting stuff in and changing things and it's moving along. Just like the people making Subnautica. They, they went from their pre-release software over to their full game software and then they have to take each update that was in the pre-release, reformat it for the final release version, and then move it over and put out the update. And yeah, that takes time. That's why I said that I'm gonna wait for two more updates and then go back to it and see if some things have changed. What the fuck else is there to talk about? Oh, let's talk about why all of the YouTubers like Jack, Mark, and Pewds are going back to retro games. Well, it's because the AAA industry is uh, in a state of really deep shit right now because of this, this spiral that I was discussing earlier. Mostly because of the toxic bitches and the uh, complete asset flips, <clears throat> Fallout 76 being one of them, which the bullshit with that drove me to delete my Fallout 4 and Skyrim playlists, even though I had fun in them. Just fucking bullshit after bullshit. And all these companies are doing the exact same thing. They're just doing it with different pronouns involved. They're all circling the drain. Alright. 
seen a few videos, not the videos, but seen a few thumbnails and titles about some other game being a complete asset flip of Ark Survival Evolved. Now, I only have one problem with Ark right now. It's fucking bright. It's fucking shiny. When you pull out your map, you have to angle it, and you have to literally go into shade. Otherwise, you just got this huge fucking ball of glare in your face. Yeah, you guys over working at, uh, what is it, Wildcard Studios? Would you mind toning down the fucking brightness and the gamma in the game? From the ambient light sources. Not, not the torches. The fucking sun glare. When, when you look up to it and it just overwhelms the entire screen with nothing but fucking glare. Can, can you get rid of that? Can you get rid of the excessive glare and brightness in the game? That's the only problem I have with it right now. It is making it unplayable. Because I can't see a single goddamn thing. Now, there, there are some other problems, like it stutters even when I'm doing a single player and I'm not running a, a server, a not running a dedicated server, not running a uh, friends only session or anything. I'm just doing single player by myself. There's some stuttering here and there. But I can deal with that. It doesn't happen too often. But the fucking brightness, the lighting situation needs to be fixed. It's way too fucking bright. <clears throat> oh, one other problem is that all the freaking dinos on the Ark that aren't herbivores, all the carnivores attack on sight. That's way too much to deal with. It's not as big of a problem as the frickin' sun problem with all the glare. It's way too damn bright. You need to balance it out. You need to have nice ambient lighting, even in the shaded areas, to where you can see what you're doing when you move into them, but they're still shaded. You need to balance that out with this fucking massive ball of glare you call your, your sun in the game. It's way too fucking bright. <clears throat> So all, all of uh, all of the YouTubers are going to to the retro gaming. Like Jack went back and played uh, what was it, Metal Gear something or another. I don't remember which title in the series, but he went and played that one. Why? Well, it's obvious. Yeah, he enjoys it, but at the same time, the AAA industry is putting out handfuls of garbage because they're being rushed by idiots who don't know a single fucking thing and they just keep harassing these companies to bring out the newest stuff bring it out bring it out bring it out yeah it, it contributes to the downward spiral all of this shit is tied together and it reminds me this dude I met in jail. He said, oh, yeah, the stock market's doing the best it's ever been. Trump's re reduced the deficit by blah, blah, blah. Well, knowing how the fiat currency system works, where they literally borrow money into existence from nothing and promise to pay double what it's worth back, he's only quadrupled the deficit. We just won't see the effects of it for another eight years. Dude's a fucking moron. His name was Griffin. Fucking redheaded idiot. Thinks because he knows money that that's all there fucking is to the world. I told him, just wait, it's gonna get worse. So he started quoting bullshit stats that don't mean a single fucking thing because the stock market's controlled by corporations, not by anyone else. I told him it was going to get worse socially. 
and he just went off at the mouth being a bitch. So I said, all right, I'm dropping this subject. He proved my point right there by being a bitch. The world's already pretty damn bad socially. Just take a look around at the toxic community in some of these games. The world's pretty fucking pathetic in, in its social standing right now. Mostly because you Americans. And the normalcy bias. But that's psychology. Which ties into sociology. Everyone wants everything to be normal. Everyone wants everyone they like to be the smart people. <clears throat> or in charge. Which is why all the people in charge are a bunch of fucking morons. Everyone wants people they like to be in charge instead of the people who know what the fuck to do. Hey, yeah. Rick said that to Morty. I don't remember which episode or which season, but that's exactly what he said. Everyone wants everyone they like to be in charge. Which is why everyone in charge is a fucking moron. Just because you like somebody doesn't mean they know shit about anything. <clears throat> Just because you have an opinion doesn't mean you need to share it with the fucking world. I don't give a fuck about anybody's goddamn opinion. I don't want to fucking hear it. I'm not giving you my opinion. I'm giving you the facts of the situation at hand. The world is in a shit place socially... It's going to hell in a fucking handbag. Socially. Now, how much longer until it literally gets to hell? I don't fucking know. But, corporations and companies, how long is it going to be until you wake up from this stupid, moronic daydream from being so fucking detached and tone deaf to the situation at hand, how long is it going to take until you guys wake up from that? Players, where the fuck is your goddamn patience? There are thousands upon thousands of other games to play while you're waiting for content in one specific game. I've got a fucking massive fuck ton, like a hundred other 360 games that I can go and play. I got a bunch of downloaded games on my one that I can go and play while I wait for updates, and that's what I'm doing. I fucked around in GTA 5 while I'm waiting for updates on Subnautica and Red Dead Redemption 2 online. <clears throat> And quite honestly, there's a game that I thought wouldn't get put on the console, but it is. And I'd really love to play it, but I don't have enough money to go out and buy it. It's um, Terratech. <clears throat> That's the one I want to get and mess around with on Xbox One. So, all these problems that we're having, they can be solved simply by everyone being patient and quit being a selfish bitch quit being a toxic little fuckwit grow the fuck up emotionally mentally and psychologically your your physical body's age doesn't mean a goddamn thing to anyone ever and if you think it does you're a fucking idiot I've met five-year-olds who have more fucking maturity than all these little fucking 18-year-old pricks online running around shooting everyone just because they fucking can. I'm stressing and overstressing these points because nobody fucking listens and history repeats itself because no one will listen. If you don't believe me, just spend a, spend a couple of months observing. Dig up some YouTube videos on what shit that's happened in the past. Analyze the situation with the patterns of their behavior. 
what happened, what was the response, what triggered what happened, etc. And make a fucking list. Write it all down. Write down the similarities between events and the, the dissimilarities. There, you'll see the psychological pattern emerge. Right now, it's just a cross between greed and pure fucking stupid ignorance. Which brings me to another point. Stop being a fucking nigger. Nigger, noun, an ignorant person. Stop being a fucking piece of shit. Especially you, YouTube! Google, Alphabet, whatever fucking name you want to put on yourselves. Stop being a fuckwit and tell all these other companies that are copyright claiming people and abusing the system and bullying people to fuck off. Grow a set of fucking balls, man up, and quit being a little bitch. And, well, the CEO of fucking YouTube is a woman, so quit being a little pussy, quit caving in to all the corporations giving you money to turn a blind eye, grow a fucking set of morality, woman up, and quit being a fucking shove-over, okay? No one liked YouTube Rewind for last year because it was completely fucking tone-deaf shit. No one's gonna like it ever again, as long as you keep doing stupid shit like that. Come on, everybody. Quit being fucking retarded already. I know you can do it. There, gotta piss everyone off enough. I hope so. If you enjoy anything I do, hit the like button. If you didn't enjoy it, don't fucking worry about it. If you disliked it, then hit the dislike button. If you have any more information, you know, put a little bit of it in the, the comment section. Let everybody know exactly what the fuck's going on. If if you enjoy the the dumb shit I do in games, subscribe. I mean, if you enjoy stuff like this in this video, eh, probably not gonna happen all the time. Don't hold your breath. If you want to see me do more games, use the links in the description. You know, the support links for PayPal, Patreon, or GoFundMe. Pick whichever flavor of support you like and use it. Oh, and don't forget to manually go in and seek out my channel and see when new videos come up because YouTube is just fucking broke right now. Notifications and and subscriptions just aren't working like they should. No one's getting notified anymore. And it's just a fucking clusterfuck. So just write down all your favorite YouTubers and go through them every day or every week, one at a time, and see if they've uploaded new stuff. Especially if you don't want an algorithm running your, your, uh, your views. Till next time, everybody. Bye.